Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. You know, whenever we're camping, we generally find old cemeteries, and they're very intriguing to us because you can learn a lot of history about an area by searching the names that are in that particular cemetery. And while we were at Association Island Campground up in Henderson, uh, New York, we came across the North Cemetery. So whenever we go camping, we usually find an old cemetery. And we did that in Henderson, New York. Here is the North Cemetery established in 1812. And this cemetery uh, from the 1800s had names that we've recognized because parts of the town uh, were named after folks in there. And the most interesting name to me was Hovey uh, because when they did some renovation work at Association Island Campground, the drawings and the maps referred to it as Hovey's Island. Uh, and that was one of the original settlers. So this particular cemetery has a lot of interesting names in there. So we walked through there and recorded them we really like to uh, recognize folks from the past so that their memory lives on. If you recognize the names and know something about those families, please comment in the comment section below so we can uh, really learn more about the original settlers from the area. Terry's. Oh, yeah, this one's really cool. Hey, I'm gonna... I actually grew up around here. Did you? Every year, but a lot of the people that are in here, stuff is named like White's Bay is one of the bays in the harbor, and I don't know if he's a general or whatever. White is in there. I'll check it out. It's pretty cool. Thank you. Yep. And from what I've been told, uh, the people that settled this area are all buried here, including a General White. So we had to check that out. Eighteen forty seven to nineteen fourteen. Iron Force. Hovey. Looks like Hovey was a pretty popular name in the area. This is, I think, the General White. I have to look him up. And then here are the Montagues. Donagey, 1848 to 915. Sarah Jackson, uh, 1853. Here, now we'll go forward first. There's Thelma, 1893 to 1955. And it looks like Flynn, H. Lynn, 1890 to 1927. Some really interesting stuff. Henry Cook. William Snow. That's an old, an old plate. Can't read these, but they're old. Eleanor Johnson.
Bueno. Boys. There's some more forces. A lot of them in here. Captain Boyan, his wife was Abigail, 1824 to 1918. Oh, Boyce. Captain W. Boyce. There's another Skinner Boyce. Stanley. Myron Stanley and family. And these are so old you can't even read them. That's Alice, their daughter. Like Matilda Rogers. The stone looks like it was replaced. This is Captain Washington Hungerford. And his wife was Julia White, 1814 to 1882. Can't make that one out. <clears throat> Here is Captain James White, 1819 to 907. His wife was Hannah Hungerford, 1820 to 1904. This looks like the whole White family in here. Looks like the entire family might be laid to rest here. There's Phoebe, Jazz White, Adelaide, there's Jane. He was the wife of James. John Heth died in 1853. Very young, only 22 years old. You'll find a lot of history about the area by looking at the old cemeteries that are nearby. Jenny Wilkinson, 1866 to 1947. Fred Wilkinson, 1863 to 905. And then here, this looks like Rose. Wilkinson, I can barely read that. There's another Wilkinson, died in 1881 it looks like. There's another white, Captain Ed White, maybe? Yeah, Captain Edward White died in 1894. His wife is also buried there. So the White family is really prominent in this area. And this is the Hungerford, Sarah, wife of Benjamin Hungerford. So the Hungerfords and the Whites Johnson. There's 
Skeeter they're getting to me now. Here's Franklin Johnson, 1810 to 1894. Okay. Now we can look up the names of this area and see how prominent they were and what they did here. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and give the video a thumbs up. That helps it be seen by a wider audience. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Hey, thanks for watching.